There's something really fishy about this video. Hello guys, this is Ace Prestige here once again. And once again, I'm here with my son, Crash and Fish. Uh, Again, you can find his channel on my recommended channels list. He Subscribe. Does, yeah. He does, <laughs> he does uh, cat videos and Fortnite videos mostly. That's not what he's all about, but that's mostly what he does right now. Anyway, today we're doing another food review. We are doing Black Kaplan Caviar, wild caught, imported from Iceland. And this is Season Brand. It's a two-ounce jar. They're a little bitty bitty. I will open it up here. You can get a good shot of that cameraman. It looked like little bitty black pearls. And first things first, we'll do the sniff test. Whew. Very fishy. Mm. Now, this is not the expensive stuff, guys. This is... Uh, Probably the lowest tier. We got this at our local Meyer for five dollars. Um, so yeah, it's 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 not the the stuff of royalty and kings. This is basically uh, the poor man's caviar right here. If only it was rich. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe one day we'll get monetized. If I want to send us some. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, this is what we're stuck with. So we're going to do this in stages first. We're going to try it uh, by itself directly on spoons here. And uh, I read up about it. They say that you're supposed to use either a wooden spoon or if you're hoity-toity, use a mother of pearl spoon. They say you're not supposed to use metallic spoons because for some reason they say that it gives it a metallic taste. Uh, but then I've read other people say, no, that's not true. I don't know. This is all we got. So this is what we're going with. And then the next thing will be to try it on a bagel bite. And then the next step is to try it on a bagel bite with some cream cheese. So we'll get diff different uh, flavor profiles as we go. And they say that, of course, it's better with uh, different ingredients added to it. So first things first, without further delay, we'll try it on the spoons. And here we go. Cheers and down the hatch. Mm. Kind of tastes rubbery, but salty and fishy at the same time. If you've ever had sardines, that's like sardines times 10. Not bad, but it is very fishy very salty and if anyone knows what dipping dots are it's the little ice creams that are about BB size get it in a cup maybe about a two or three ounce cup of it uh, well this is kind of like the fish version of that they kind of pop in your mouth you feel the little bitty eggs popping in your mouth when you chew it's a unique experience so Next step, go ahead and get our bagel bites. Cheers once again. Let's hope this is a little better. These are extra seasoning. When you add something to it, it's not quite as bad. It kind of cancels out the strong fishy taste and these are uh, garlic flavored bagel bites so we have a little more garlic flavor to it it's not bad i'm, I'm, can, I'm definitely meant to be in this video that yeah, well you're crashing fish and fishy it's like eating your kids isn't it uh no <laughs> sorry guys gotta cleanse the pile a little bit so to speak all right, next, we're doing the cream cheese. So go ahead and grab it. 
and once again, cheers. This should be the best out of all three. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This I could do all day. Definitely the best. Because between the garlic and the cream cheese, it smooths out the, the, the fishiness by a lot. It's kind of like if you've ever had the salmon flavored cream cheese at a bagel bar or something like that. It's kind of like what it is. Cream cheese and lots. Yeah. It's that pl uh, flavor profile. So, out of the three, I would say if you're going to eat it, at least the poor man's version, definitely eat it with other ingredients. You, you know, more ingredients always makes everything better. Well, not always, but in this case, definitely does. Most things better. So, uh, again, this was $5 out of our local store. And uh, caviar, from what I've read, goes up in uh, various increments uh, all the way up to, I'd say, probably at least $100 for a container this size and of course it depends on the brand and the types of fish um so that was unique but i think we're going to try something a little extra here yes so i've been saying that this smells like sardines tastes like sardines well guess what we've got sardines and in Japan, they use it on sushi, this. You put it on top of fish, so it's like fish on top of fish. Well, we have no sushi here, and again, we're poor people. We're not fancy. So we're going to do it the poor man's way. We're going to try some caviar on sardines. Let's hope this goes well. So we'll get you one out here. Uh, Slimy. Here, uh oh. Mine's falling apart. That's not a good thing. It is what it is. Now, to make it fancy, what I'm Fish on top of fish. I'm sure Gordon Ramsay would have with this. Back my old name, Fishy Fish. Well, Fishy Fish, grab your spoon. It's kind of bad manners here to do like this, yeah. but again, we're not high society. We're just average Joes. So we just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw it. All right, there we go. Very fishy. It's fishy, but it's not bad because wow. when you compare the two, I'm going to do this here for the camera. Now, smell this. There's a difference between the two, even though they both smell really similar. That is just straight up fish smell. That's like if you go to the beach and you're going fishing and there's some people next to you that have uh, caught some and they're cleaning the fish out. That's what it smells like. This on the other hand, smells like sardines. And it has a, a kind of smoky smell to it. I don't know if they add smoke flavor to it or if they actually smoke them or, or, or how that's done. But when you mix the two, pretty good. It's not sushi, but again, we're not fancy people. So, my verdict on this overall, I would give it out of 10 stars, I would say, honestly, by itself, I would give it about a 4.5. Mixed with other stuff, I would say it's about a 7. You? No, you're just gonna copy me. Yeah. He's original. 
All right, guys, so that's all for now. This is Ace Prestige with Crash and Fish, and this has been another Ace Prestige food review. Have a good one. <laughs> you didn't even press the thing. <laughs> I did, just to make any noise.